Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Thursday the 25th, and today was a beautiful day outside, absolutely gorgeous, um, take this weather all year long, would not have an issue, um, got up this morning, had a few things around here to get taken care of, did just, I don't know, general junk that has to be done in everyday life, got done with that, um, headed outside, kind of moved some stuff around, took care of some things here and there. Ended up um, riding my bike down to pick up my van. I needed to use it to do another errand today that I didn't um, have. Talked to the mechanic to see if it was done or if it was even drivable, whatever. He said it was not done and it weighed too much to be picked up by his lift. My van weighs over 6,000 pounds, the giant one ton, um, which surprisingly gets good guess mileage when you stop and think about the fact it weighed more than double the average car. So, anyway, that's neither here nor there. A little random thought popped in my head there. So, Went ahead, went down, picked up my van. Um, the guy's got two shops. The shop here in town was um, didn't have a lift big enough to pick it up. So I decided I'd just haul it over to his other shop whenever I get the chance and let, let him work on it there. He has two lifts there. One of them is heavy enough to pick it up. Um, went ahead and headed up to Otomwa today. Um, checked out a truck for sale. My buddy's son was selling, looked over. Seemed like a decent enough truck for the price. Um, went ahead and bought it. He still had money on it. It was a truck that broke down. Need new brake lines and stuff. Didn't have money to fix it. Didn't have money to pay it off either one. So it was gonna if he didn't, it was just gonna sit there forever. So he would have had to wait till he paid the rest of it off and before he had enough money to go ahead and fix it. And it might never have happened because he'd be without wheels. He wouldn't have a vehicle to drive. But <sighs> so we had to be like bugging other people for rides the whole time and stuff, or like basically paying other people taking places. And who knows how it would have worked out. So went ahead and bought the truck. Um, got it all loaded up in the truck and the, and the trailer and stuff. Actually, I went to the um, dealership. He bought it for me. Bought buy here, pay here place. Paid off the loan for him. Came back, gave him the rest of the cash. Um, they got to take the lien off the title. So technically, I don't have the title yet. It's going to get mailed to the house. Sign it, and it'll be my truck. Um, legally, it's still my truck. Just don't have a title for it yet. Yada, yada, whatever. Loaded up. Um, no brakes on the truck at all. It's, yeah, I had a little bit of brakes. Dumped some brake fluid in it. Had a little bit of brakes, I guess. Got it up on the trailer. It's not that big a deal to drive a vehicle without brakes if you know what you're doing. Um, got it loaded up. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was. Put it on the trailer, hauled it over to the mechanic's other shop, which is halfway between my buddy's house. I do it. In my house. Um, got there, everything went decent. Um, it was not really loaded quite where I wanted it. So I wanted it a lot, little farther forward on the trailer. But I was afraid if I got much further forward, it was going to then roll off the front or smash into the front, like, beam and break my trailer. So I said to hell with it, left it back a little far. It have, which made my rear of my van a little bit squirrely. So it was definitely, um, it worked out. It just wasn't quite where I wanted it to be. Got out of there, unloaded it, and it had zero brakes at the time. So loading the truck up on the trailer is much easier than unloading it without brakes because driving up, you can always let off the gas and roll back down the damn trailer. Problem with it is, is the fact that once you get on the trailer and you start rolling off, there's no way of stopping it. So it's one of those things where you have to learn how to throw it and drive and, you know, kind of thing and different deals when it's going. It's just kind of pain in the ass. Got it um, unloaded, kind of did a walk around of it real quick, got a video of it, which I will um, load up here eventually, don't know when. But um, one of the things I realized when I was unloading it, that the um, rear, I can't, I didn't, it was dark, I couldn't really see that good, didn't really look that close. The, the, the shackle mount to the um, frame on the leaf springs, or the leaf spring itself, not sure which, one of the two broke. I think it was a little hanger piece that broke, I'm not sure. I'll have to find out with daylight, I'll let the mechanic look at it. But the leaf spinger broke off just for me tying it down to the frame. I was winching it down to what tied on the trailer. Broke that. So had he ever tried to haul a load, had he ever tried to pull a trailer, that thing would have, because he probably wouldn't have felt it, and if he broke during, during the highway, it would have probably fucked him up. It would have been bad. So there's a leaf spring sticking through the bed of my trailer, or my truck right now, which is always interesting. you got to love that. So went ahead and left the mechanic shop to get it fixed. I'll call the mechanic today. And it was late last night, or late tonight, I guess. Technically, it's past midnight. But late tonight, when I dropped it off, I wasn't going to bug him. So I'll talk to him sometime today or tomorrow. Let him know I need to have him look at that uh, leaf spring if he can fix it. If not, I'll haul it to a body shop and have it like, basically treat it as if it was an accident. Have him weld a new piece back on somewhere with a frame you know, machine in that. So I'll get that taken care of, too. It's just a 2000 Chevy. Decent enough shape. It's rusty and stuff, but... It's not bad overall for the money. So hopefully I can get the, that welded on, the leaf spring that fixed up without having too much damn expense. That would really suck. So um, from there, 
went had a little ice cream shop in my old town. Never knew it was there yet, so I stopped in there, grabbed myself an ice cream, and then headed on home and ended up trying to watch a movie that I rented from Redbox, and it sucked. Thank God it was a free movie. I did not pay for it. It was just awful. Um, bad, just all around. So, didn't even get that finished watching. Um, getting ready to head to bed now. It's like, I don't know, it's like 2.30 in the morning, something like that. That's why I'm yawning in that. So, anyway, that's all I got for right now. <sighs> Talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.